Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm working through the A version of the quiz. Uh, there's a, uh, on the B quiz, one might be number seven. You just have to look through and find this question to work through it with me here. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to just distribute this four, as it's a good enough place to start, to get negative 12x plus 20, no, 32, 32, now we have minus 2x plus 15, and we have a negative 12x, a negative 2x, that's a negative 14x, 32 plus 15 is 47. Uh, number two, and again, on the B version of the quiz, you might have to find it at another number. Um, Let's say I have a 9 and a 21, and just to mix it up, I'm going to add the 9 and the 21, and I get 30. Right, plus 30 is the minus 5x. That is 4 times negative 2x minus 12. And um, really nothing to do but distribute now. So let's distribute. We get negative 8x minus 48 minus 5x plus 30. Move up here. Um, I guess we don't have to move up there. The next step, I would say, is uh, to combine like terms. Um, negative 8x minus 5x is negative 13x. Negative 48 plus 30 would be negative 18. Um, next, uh, let's see. I don't have anything outside the parentheses that can be combined, so let's just go ahead and distribute. Uh, first, we have negative 5x. Then negative 8x times 15 is negative... negative 120x, uh, negative 8x times negative 12 is a positive, um, let's see, uh, 96, negative times negative is positive, 96x, so negative 120x plus 96x plus 13. We'll put together the like terms, here we have negative 5 minus 120, right, negative 5x minus 120x, negative 125x uh, plus 96, so that's going to be negative 29x plus 13. I just put that right there in my answer line. Um, let's see, let's multiply these together. What's that going to take? I'm going to do it the long way, just for anybody who likes to see that. I'm going to distribute, just like any other thing that I've distributed in the last three problems, I've distributed three different times. Instead of distributing it a negative 8x, or a 4, or a whatever it was on number 1, uh, I'm going to distribute this entire parentheses 3x minus 5. So just like negative 8x got multiplied by 15, and just like negative 8x then got distributed to negative 12, I'm going to distribute the 3x minus 5 to all three of these terms. So I'm going to wind up with 2x squared times 3x minus 5 plus 8 times 3x minus 5, minus 4x times 3x minus 5, minus 10x plus 12, because we have that stuff just hanging out there. Uh, now 2x squared times 3x is going to be 6x to the third. I'm going to distribute the 2x squared to the negative 5 as well. That's negative 10x squared. Remember, x squared times x is x times x times x is x cubed. Um, 8 times 3x is 24x. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. Negative 4 distributed to the 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 distributed to the negative 5 is positive 20x. Uh, oh, excuse me, negative 4x times uh, 3x is negative 12x squared. And minus 10x plus 12. Okay. Um, there's really nothing to do but to collect like terms. We've got a cubed there. I might write this down here. 6x cubed. It's the only x cubed around. Uh, maybe I'll circle the squared ones. There we go. Negative 10x squared minus 12x squared is negative 22x squared. Uh, let me underline the x's. There they all are. 24 plus 20, that's 44 minus 10 is 34x. 
and this is all that's left. Negative 40 plus 12 is going to be a negative 28. All right, yes, negative 28. Next, number five. Okay, the uh, common question I got uh, when we were doing this on the review before the quiz was, should I multiply these together, like do double distribution first and then multiply by five, or should I multiply by five first? The answer is either way, okay? Um, I'll do it two different ways. I'll do it once in blue and in another color. First, I'll distribute the five, okay? So I'll distribute the five. So I get 10x minus five, or sorry, minus 25. Uh, now keep in mind what we're supposed to do here is multiply all three of these things together. If you were to multiply, say, 2 times 3 times 7, you would do 2 times 3 is 6 times 7. You would get the answer from 2 times 3, and you would take that and multiply it by 7 to get 42. The reason I mention that is because I've just multiplied two things together and gotten 10x minus 25. This entire thing needs to get multiplied by negative 8x plus 4. All of it. So now we're down to some double distribution here. Uh, we'll distribute the 10x minus 25 to both of these terms. We get negative 8x times 10x minus 25 plus 4 times 10x minus 25. Negative 8x times 10x is negative 8, 80x squared. 80x squared. Negative 8x times negative 25 is a positive 200x. 4 times 10 is a 40x. And 4 times negative 25 is negative 100. So we have negative 80x squared plus 240x minus 100. Okay, let's do this next one in a purple. Okay, so this time I'll distribute the 2x minus 5 first into the eight, negative 8x plus 4 and then leave the 5 for last. So it'll look like this. 5 times, well, if I did this 2 times 3 times 7 thing in a different order, we'd do 3 times 7 to get 21, but we'd still take that answer and multiply it by 2, still get 42. So we're going to multiply these together and then distribute the 5 into that answer. Right, so we have 5 times all of this. Now all of this is a double distribution problem. So we have negative 8x times 2x minus 5 plus 4 times 2x minus 5. Negative 8x times 2x is negative 16x squared. Uh, negative 8x times negative 5 is a positive 40x. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Okay. And now I'll go ahead and combine my terms inside the parentheses here. Uh, negative 16x squared plus 48x minus 20. And when you distribute the 5 to all three of those terms, you get negative 80x squared plus 240x minus 100. All right, and so we have it here, just kind of a straightforward double distribution. We'll distribute the entire thing to the negative 4x and to the 5. Negative 4x times 2x squared plus 6x plus 5 times 2x squared plus 6x. And now we distribute each of these into uh, the, this parentheses here. So negative 4x times 2x squared is negative 8x to the third. Negative 4x times 6x is negative 24x squared. 5 times 2x is 10x squared. 5 times 6x is 30x. So we wind up with negative 8x cubed minus, we got negative 24x plus 10x, sorry, negative 24x squared plus 10x squared, negative 14x squared plus 30x. Here, we're just gonna find like terms. Here's a cube. Um, oh, there's a cube too. So 9x squared, 9x cubed minus 2x cubed is 7x cubed. Uh, 10x should do a different shape. 10x squared, negative 5x squared. That's positive 5x squared. Uh, 16x and negative 3x are going to be 13x when we combine them. 13 plus 16 is 29. I'm going to distribute the 3x. 3x times negative x is negative 3x squared. 3x times positive 7 is positive 21x minus 4x. So negative 3x squared plus 17x. Distributing the negative 3x. 
That's a positive 15x squared, negative 12x, distributing the 8 into this parentheses, 32x, negative 24, and we add that 15x there. 15x squared, no other like terms. Uh, negative 12x, positive 32x, positive 15. Uh, let's see, 32 minus 12 is going to be 20, plus 15 is 35x, uh, minus 24, because it's the only constant. Distribute the 3x, we get 24x to the third, plus 12x squared, minus 21x plus 12x. So combining like terms, we have only one x cubed term, only one, it looks terrible, only one x squared term, and negative 21x plus 12x, let's see, that's minus 9x. And that is the last one. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.